Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm now answering question number eight from the January 2022 Mechanics M1 International A Level paper. And uh, this is the last question on this um, exam. And this question is all about vectors and velocity vectors. It says, in this question, I and J are, ho are horizontal unit vectors directed due east and due north, respectively, and position vectors are given relative to a fixed origin, which you will call O. It says, a ship A moves with constant velocity, 3i minus 10j kilometers per hour. At time t hours, the position vector of A is r kilometers. At time t equals 0, A is at the point with position vector 13i plus 5j kilometers. Find r in terms of t. So basically, what we have here is we want to find the position vector of the ship A. And that's going to be the position vector of the ship A initially plus its velocity vector times the time. Okay, so if you want to imagine what's going on, say this is, say this is your origin. What it's telling us is at time t equals zero, this ship is 13i plus 5j. It's at this point over here. That's the point where it is. You can say 13i plus 5j, so 13, 5. That's where it is at time equals zero. And it's moving along the velocity 3i, 3i minus 10j. So it's going like something like this. It's moving in this direction. Okay, this is 3 and minus 10. So after one hour, it'll be over there. After two hours, it'll be over there. After three hours, it'll be over there, and so on. Okay, 3 minus 10, and so on. So this will be after one hour, two hours, three hours. So this is basically what it's telling us. So it's position vector any time t will be given by this vector over here. Okay, this is where it's going to be. This is the position of A at any particular time t. So after one hour over here, two hours there, three hours over there, and so on, you can find its position at any particular time, depending what t is. So RA, which is going to be this vector here, RA, is equal to R0, which is this vector here, plus the velocity vector, which is this, times how, how many hours there are. Okay, so that's how that gives you the position vector of A. So we know that R0 is the place where it was at time equals 0, which is, I'll write this as a column vector, 13, 5. I like to write these as column vectors um, in my working. It just makes life easier. And we know that the velocity vector is 3 minus 10, 3i minus 10j, well, like that. So we can say that position vector of A is given by R0, which is 13, 5, plus the time times the velocity, which is 3 and minus 10. So I can write my answer like this. I can write my answer as RA equals. I can put 13 plus 3ti and 5 minus 10tj. So I can write it in this form if I want to. 13 plus 3ti um, plus 5 minus 10t j and that is kilometers so there's the answer to part a i've written in this ij form because that's how they gave us in the question writing in this form is also perfectly fine i think all right so that's part a then it says for part b it says another ship b moves with constant velocity 15i plus 4 14 j kilometers per hour at time equals uh, zero b is at the point with position vector 3i minus 5j show that at time t hours a to b the vector a to b is given by this vector here so now first of all if i want to find the vector from a to b i need to find the position vector of b first i need to find what rb is so rb again would be r0 plus vt but this time for the vector b or for the ship B. So R0 for ship B is going to be 3 minus 5, 3i minus 5j, 3 minus 5. And the velocity vector for ship B is 15i plus 14j, 15, 14. So we can say for RB, you've got R0, which is 3 minus 5, plus t times the velocity vector, 15, 14. So we can say that the position vector, oops, what happened there? No, 
that's a bit weird. Okay. So we have RB is equal to, let me just get this pen back. Okay, just want to come back, no problem. So you have 3 plus 15t and minus 5 plus 14t. Okay, that's the position vector of B. Now, what we need to find is the vector from A to B. Now, we have the position vector of A as well. RA is given by, as we found up here, it's given by 13 plus 13 plus 3t and that's for i and j is 5 minus 10t that's the j okay so now we have um, r a and r b so we got to find what a to b is now a to b say this is the this is the origin and say this is the vector a and say this is the vector this is the, the point b now what we have here, we have OA and OB. That's basically the position vector of A at any particular time, and that's the position vector of B at any particular time. We want to find the vector that takes you from A to B, which is this vector here. That's the vector that we're trying to find, A to B. Okay, so what we can do here, we can say the vector from A to B is basically minus RA plus RB. It's basically going to be RB minus RA. Because you've got to go minus RA plus RB if you want to go from A to B. That's what we're trying to find. So it's going to be this vector here minus that vector there. So RB is 3 plus 15T and minus 5 plus 14T. Take away the vector A which is 13 plus 3T and 5 minus 10t so if we subtract them we have 13 minus sorry 3 minus 13 which is minus 10 and you got 15t minus 3t which is plus 12t and you've got here minus 5 minus 5 which is again minus 10 and 14 plus 10 which is 24t so that's exactly what we had to show you see 12t minus 10i you got 12t minus 10i so that's going to give you 12t minus 10 that's your i component and your j component you have to show it's 24t minus 10j you can see that's exactly what we've got here 24 minus 10 24 minus 10 t 24t sorry minus 10 24t Twenty four T minus ten J and that's in kilometers and that's the vector from A to B. So there's the answer for this question part B. Alright, so we've got this here. And we're gonna to go to part C. Okay, so for part C it says given that the two ships do not change course, find the shortest distance between the two ships. Okay, so we've got to find, we know this is the vector that takes you from A to B. All right, this is the vector that takes you from A to B. Now, the distance between um, well, between these two points, okay, would be the magnitude of this vector. So, the distance is equal to the magnitude of A to B. That's the distance between the two ships. So, what I can do is, I can find the magnitude of A to B is going to be given by the square root of the components. So you're going to have the square root of 12t minus 10 squared plus 24t minus 10 squared. Okay, now that would be the magnitude of a to b. That would be d. But I'm going to write it as d squared because I don't want to deal with the square root sign. Okay, because the, the shortest distance between the two points would also be the shortest square of the distance the time when they are closest together will be the same you know in terms of uh, whether we're looking at the square of those distances or the actual distance okay so if I just write this as d squared instead of 
um, d, I won't have to deal with the square root, and the time that they are closest together, okay, will be the same whether I'm thinking about the square of the distances or the actual distance itself. So what I can do is just write this as, just forget the square root sign, just find the square of the distances. That's going to be the square of this, which is going to be 144 t squared. If I square this bracket, I'll have 12 t times itself. Then I'll have 2 times 12 t times 10, which is minus 240 t. And I'll have plus 100. Then if I square this bracket, I'll have plus. Now the square of 24 is, look at the square of 24. That gives us 576. That's 576 t squared. You're going to have 24 times minus 10, minus two, that's minus 240t times 2, that's minus 480t, okay, and plus 100. Okay, so this d squared will therefore be 144 plus 576. That gives us 720t squared, and then you're going to have uh, minus 240 minus 240 whoops minus 240 minus 480 that's going to give me minus 720 again minus 720 t and i'll have plus 200. that's the square that this that's the square of the distances between a and b and i want to find when the distance is a minimum okay now I can do that in a couple of ways. I could use differentiation and find the minimum value for this. Or I could complete the square as this is a quadratic. I think differentiation will be a lot easier. So if I find this, if I differentiate d squared with respect to t, I get 2 times 720, which is 1440 t. And this will give you minus 720. That expression here will tell me um, you know the gradient of this now when this becomes when when this has a gradient of zero it'll be the minimum distance because this is a quadratic that opens upwards so you can see that that, that the turning point will be the minimum value of d okay the minimum value of d so i can find the time when d is the smallest you know value Okay, when d squared is the smallest, then also, of course, d will be also the smallest. So if I say that, let's call, let's find this equals zero, that will give me the minimum. So you have 1440t minus 720 is equal to zero. So you have 1440t is equal to 720. Therefore, t is equal to 720 divided by 1440. Well, that's a half. So when t is equal to a half, that's when you'll have the smallest distance between these two vectors. So what I have to do is I have to take my vector a to b, the magnitude I'm going to have the square root of, I'll have 12 times a half, which is 6 minus 10 squared, plus 24 times a half, which is going to be 12 minus 10 squared. Okay, just substitute t equals a half into here. That's going to give me the square root of 6 minus 10, which is 4, minus 4 squared, which is 16, plus 12 minus 10, which is going to be 2, 2 squared, which is 4. So that gives me the square root of 20, which is going to be 4 times 5. So root 2 root 5 okay, um, kilometers is the shortest distance. Let's write it to 3SF. So 2 times root 5, that gives us... 4.47 kilometers 4.47 kilometers to 3sf that is the shortest or the the smallest distance between them okay the shortest distance between the two ships while they are traveling along those courses okay so that's how you deal with a question like that we could have also taken this and completed the square and fi found the, the value of t and also the value of d would also be come up there um for which they are closest together basically finding the minimum of this you know you have your your d squared and you have your t okay and it will give you the minimum value of d squared which then you would square root and it give you the minimum value of d okay so that's part c done 
Now we're going to find part or deal with part D. It says find the bearing of ship B from ship A when the ships are closest. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this vector that we found here for A to B. I'll use it down here. So we know that the ships are closest when T is equal to a half. So let's find the vector, the vector A to B when they're closest, when t is equal to a half, that's going to be, um, as we found here, that's going to be minus 4, okay, because it's that's going to be 6 minus 10, and that's going to be 2. That's the vector from A to B, okay, that's how to get from A to B when they are closest. So we've got to find the bearing of ship B from ship A, okay. So this tells us how to go from A to B, okay. So just say this is A, to get to B, you've got to go 4 to the right, 4 to the left, sorry, 4 towards the west, you could say, and 2 north, something like that. That's how you get from A to B. Okay, let me just make a, a, a line like that. That's A and that's B. Let's say, okay, so that's A and that's B. That's 4 that way and 2 that way. That's how to get from A to B. Now we want to find the bearing. The bearing is always measured from the north line. Always measured from the north line. Okay, that should be straight up. It's a bit wonky there. Okay, always measured from the north line. So that's the north line. And always measured in the clockwise direction. So I need that angle over there. Now let me call this angle theta. Therefore this angle will also be theta. Because this is north, this is north. So they're alternate angles. So I want to find the angle over here, the clockwise angle, which is 360, take away the angle that we have um, over here. So this angle theta, we can say that the tan of angle theta is 4 over 2. So theta is inverse tan of 2. 4 over 2 is 2. So we can take that, we can say inverse tan of 2. That gives us 63.43 degrees. 63.43 degrees so our angle we need the bearing is therefore going to be is equal to 360 minus 63.43 so I take this angle I do 360 take away this angle and it gives me 296.56 296.565 so, so therefore we can say the bearing is 297 should round it to the nearest degree for bearings Okay, um, unless otherwise stated. So there is the answer to part D of this question. So that completes this whole question. Um, part C is maybe the part that may, most people might find a bit strange. But um, as I mentioned, that the distance or the time at which the distance between the two ships is the closest will be the same time at which the square of the two ships uh, square of the distance between the two ships is also the smallest because um, I mean the reason why we dealt it with it like this instead of having to in differentiate something which has a square root in it like this which makes life a bit more difficult we prefer to differentiate something which is like this if I wanted to differentiate if I, wanted, if I was going to put the square root of this over here it would make life a bit more difficult to differentiate that's all Right, so it's easy to differentiate this. Find the value of t when the square of the distances are the small, smallest, which means that's the same value of t when the distances are also the smallest. And then you can put that t back into the equation and find that shortest distance. So there's the answer to this question, and that concludes the whole of this M1 paper. Other questions you might want to watch um, from this paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this area over here at the end of the video. Other questions from the topic of vectors can be found in this playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and the card that's been appearing during the video, throughout the video at the top here, will take you to um, some other papers that you might be interested in watching. Thank you for watching and see you soon.